Today we are going to look at the Start Team Server Admin Console. In particular, we are going to focus on starting a Start Team Server configuration and then stopping a Start Team Server configuration. For the purposes of this video, I have set up two Start Team configurations, Filters and Star Draw. As you can see from the Admin Console, I have also set one of these up as a service and one as a manual configuration. The service is donated by the small purple icon, which is just to the bottom left hand corner of the configuration icon itself. Hovering over the configuration will also tell you that it is running as a service and the service is applied by the purple icon just to the top. There are two ways of starting a configuration running as a service. There is the start option within the admin console and then you can also start it via the services configuration on the local machine itself. The Start Team Server will be located in the S section under Start Team Server hyphen name. If you just then select the start option, the configuration will begin via the services console. You can also see that the service itself will be starting in the admin console itself but it's worthwhile ensuring that the service starts initially in the actual services console. So once you close that down and go back to your console, you will then see that the service has started. To then manually start a service or a configuration, you use either the start server or the start with override. The start with override gives you the option to change the endpoint value by manually typing it in to the dialog box which appears. Once you type the endpoint and click on OK, the configuration will then begin to start. This is donated by the small arrow pointing to the right. Once the configuration itself has completed its startup procedure, this icon will change to a small green tick. These are the two ways of starting a configuration, either running as a service or running manually. At this point, if for whatever reason you need to stop either service or manual configuration, you simply select the shutdown server option. The icon then goes to a small grey whilst it's stopping. And once it is continued and completed its stop procedure, it goes back to the blue pause icon, if you will. You will also notice that the service has not been removed in any shape or form. So in today's video, we looked at starting a Start Team Server configuration, both as a service and as a manual configuration, and then stopping these various Start Team configurations.